Toso, Kunamansi. My name is Adam Schultz and I'm the Agriculture Return Intern here at the Sustainable Development at the College of Menominee Nation. And we are in our research garden here on the Kashina campus. This is the third year that we are doing this research and we're testing a Bear Island flint corn, which has been found on the ancient garden beds in the Menominee Forest here. So what we have is, today is the 21st of June, and last Friday we planted in the rain, and one week later, later and we have our corn babies coming up already. As you can see, our beautiful corn's coming up. And I'd like to express my thank you and gratitude to all the interns that helped last Friday in the rain with mud and umbrellas to plant all this corn. Our hard work paid off. We have our corn coming in already. So we are testing this corn on four different amendments and we're re replicating it four times. The plot we are in right now is our control plot, which has nothing added. Right next to it is our biochar plant. So our biochar is just taking wood and burning it down to a charcoal state. And what we are finding out is that the biochar promotes microorganism activity in the garden. It helps fertilize the soil. A side benefit of it is because it is wood, it holds on to moisture. So these plots will stay moister longer than the other plots, which is extremely helpful during dry seasons. When we go right next door, these orange flags are our urea plots or our conventional fertilizer, which you can find in any hardware store, Walmart, any gardening store. It's also what a lot of farmers use on their fields. And then our fourth plot, the pink ones are going to be fish emulsion. I will have three different applications of fish emulsion during the season that I put down next to it. Now all this comes from research that Dr. David Overstreet, the Menominee Tribal Archaeologist, found on the raised ancient garden beds in the forest. So what he went through and he got permission to excavate a couple of the garden beds and he found river material, river muck, fish, animal parts, aquatic animal parts. He also found that biochar in it. Interestingly, he found the same exact corn seed that we're using. It's called Bear Island Flint Corn and it's synonymous with the Ojibwe people. But evidence supports that the Menominee people are also using this corn. What we are doing is we are trying to build off of traditional ecological knowledge and find out what our ancestors knew about what these amendments would do for the soil and do for the corn growth. From our first two years of results, we found out that the fish emulsion gives us more corn seed. So when we dry the water out and we measure it, we have 30% bigger seed. What we're finding out with the, bi with the biochar plots is that the biomass of the plant itself, the, the corn stalk and the cones and everything, and the cubs are bigger, about 20% bigger. We're hoping to, with this study, to be able to give knowledge to the Menominee people on how they can garden on their reservation. Again, you can see that we have corn babies popping up everywhere. So here's a roll that's coming in really nicely. Interestingly enough, when they're in this stage, they look like a funnel, and that's so the water drains right down to the roots and help it helps the corn grow. Tune in next week for my next update on the corn. Hopefully the plants will be about this tall next week. <laughs>